Beautiful people of YouTube, my name is Oliver Cat, and welcome back to another Let's Play of RimWorld. Now, I've done a little bit more off recording, as you can see. I add, I cleaned, first of all, I cleaned up the area, so it's not as dirty as it used to be. Now, I've still got a little bit more trash here that I gotta remove from the ground, from all that excavating that we did when we first moved in. Um, on top of that, I put in wooden floors, so it made the area look a little nicer, and I believe the colonists are no longer complaining that they are living in an hideous area. I think Pan was one of the, one of the, let me see. Yep, ex extremely comfortable. Yep, perfect. It's exactly what we wanted. Now, uh, second off, on the last Let's Play, we were having a trouble keeping the temperature at a certain, uh, certain point because we were going through a heat wave. Um, eventually, after recording, I played the game out a little bit more, and uh, the temperature did stabilize, and eventually the heat wave went away. So we're good with that. Um, secondly, I was expanding uh, more room for the freezer here, so I'll take care of that a little later. What else did I have to say? I think, uh, oh, I built a little uh, warehouse here to store all of our ores. One problem that we do have right now is that we are running low, low on iron, so it's going to be hard to uh, produce more materials, more electronics, and I'd especially repair stuff when it starts breaking down. So I'm going to have Pan go out looking for uh, ores. Uh, what else? Uh, we are kind of like in an odd place in the game right now. Um, we are completely self-sufficient. We have food. We have power. Um, we have protection. We have weapons that we've collected from uh, from raiders. Um, the only thing we don't have is a colonist that is able to research up new material. Um, we have everything we need, um, but we are stuck at the point where without a a colonist with a higher research skill, um, we can't progress through the game. So it's, I, it's, uh, I, yeah, it's a weird point. The reason we need a, um, a colonist with a high research skill is there's a production table in the game that allows you to obviously research new technologies. And with those new technologies, you can create weapons, you can uh, uh, improve your healthcare, and most importantly, develop the technology te uh, technologies to produce a rocket and eventually escape this planet and um, the only one with the highest uh, research skill is uh, here it's triplet and four it's a four it's not gonna that's not gonna do much for us we can use them we can start building the research table but the researching is going to be extremely slow extremely slow. we're gonna hit play here let these guys do their thing Actually, I'm going to do fast forward. Right now, they are solid. They really don't need anything else. Um, we can wait for raiders and try and collect materials. We have weapons. Everybody has one weapon, at least, which is enough to protect themselves, to hunt, and all that. Uh, I'm not sure that I sh if I told you guys that I built this uh, pool table here. Um, for some reason, it wouldn't let me put it here. It, it would only allow me to put it right up against the table. I don't know why. But yeah, I put a pool table there, so uh, now the colonists have something to do on their spare time. Um, right now, the only one that has a set job is Pan, because she needs to go out and mine Or Oh, and this thing here. Apparently, I, I, I've never tried taming in this game, but apparently this is like some kind of rare creature. It's a thrumbo, and uh, let's check out the information on it. A gigantic creature of unknown origin. The thrumbone is gent gentle by nature but extremely dangerous when engaged Lo its long fur is exceptionally beautiful and valuable it has a razor sharp horn it's it's and its razor sharp horn is very valuable in most markets let us say that the old thrumbo is the wisest creature in the universe it simply chooses not to speak so this creature here can provide us like if we hunt it down but i kind of just want to tame it problem is if we attempt to try and tame it it will, um, and we fail, it, it will get angry, and I'm not sure how strong that creature is. And attacking it right now would kind of be a bad idea, because I'm not sure how strong it is. Um, by accident, we could probably attack it and just completely annihilate the whole, the whole base. It's, it's not doing anything, which is good, um, but I do want to keep it. I want to tame and keep it as a pet here, because I, if we do manage to tame it, um, it could provide as a valuable asset to, with us. Uh, it could help us fight and stuff like that, and then I can heal when it gets injured, or, yeah, yeah, that. Alrighty, so I did a little bit of, uh, mining. I gotta make sure I clean this up a little later, but, um, now we are going to expand the side of our freezer to be able to contain more food, because I was worried that we might be running out of space 
since we are producing so much food so quickly. Um, so, I actually don't remember how to do this exactly. Let's see, zone area. Uh, run, delete zones, expand allowed area. I'm assuming this is it. Nope. Give me one sec to figure this out. Oh, okay, so it's, it's basically just like creating a new stockpile. You just go back to, uh, uh, where is it? Stockpile zone, and then you just, from the stockpile, you go drag and drop. There you go. But you gotta make sure you're on top of the same stockpile before you do that. There you go. And now I expanded that. Our freezer is a whole lot bigger now. And we can take more food, or we can store more food at least. And uh, one thing is, I'm not sure if you guys remember during the beginning of this Let's Play, Ellie wasn't high enough to make, uh, in her farming level, she wasn't high enough to make uh, medication, or this root here, heal root, that uh, made the med packs. And she's finally able to do it now. But I don't know where the hell they're storing it. I can see that some was already harvested, but where it's at, I'm not sure. It's not here. But, yep, that's, that's, uh, that's that. I'm going to start building a research room. Uh, we need that. And even though Triplet here only has a research level of 4, we are going to try and get him to do that. Um, we were able to find more metal, which is good. It, was, it wasn't that far off. From, oh, error revealed. Jump to location. Okay. <laughs> oh, gee, thanks, game. Um... So yeah, we're gonna start building a room. I gotta figure out where I wanna put it though. We are kind of running out of space, and not until we are able to um, acquire weapons, uh, better weapons, um, we won't be able to take out w the creatures that are in here um, until then. So, uh, give me one sec, I'm gonna get this stuff all set up. Alrighty, so I decided to put the research room right here. The music for this game is really nice, especially when, um... oh no. This is exactly what I didn't want to happen. Uh, okay, so what you guys are seeing here is the first instance of technology, instance of technology failing on you. Um, every once in a while, uh, you'll just get a a power surge, and it, hold on, let me see. Yeah, an electrical fault, short, short, short circuit in my English. Um, and uh, yep, <laughs> that's this is actually not the worst thing you can get. I, I'm quite lucky that it only broke the, the power conduit, the power line, that it didn't break actually any of the batteries or the uh, the solar panels, because that's an expensive fix, especially right now with my low uh, resources. So, we're going to have to get these guys all up, and uh, can I right, hit play, but how do I do this? This is what I get for not playing the game for like forever, prior towards extreme fire, we got to do this quick because if it catches any trees or any grass on fire, it will catch the wood that my base is made out of on fire, and that's no way now. The fire does spread in this game, and for quite a while, it's long enough for it to burn. So, let's see if my guys are moving. Oh, no! Did they? Uh, did you see that hard thingy? Oh, uh, alright, I'll check that out. Uh, your colonists can fall in love with each other. And once they do fall in love, they'll end up wanting to have a room together. You know, like in real life, the birds and the bees. And <laughs> I, I'm not sure if they can have kids. Uh, my assumption is that they, yes, they can. So there we go. They're putting out the fire right now. This kind of sucks because now we have no power within the base. Um, and it looks like all the battery power all the battery that was stored within the, the batteries, it's completely gone now. That sucks. That really sucks. So order, uh, power, power conduit. There we go. Let me see if I can get triplet to do this. No? Nope. Power tries. Yes, this right here. Thank you. Since everybody else was woke at night, they do get a little pissed off. So, um, it, I only do it when it's an emergency. And this is kind of an emergency. I really want that power back into the house. Into the base. But, we, uh, man, we have no more battery power. That sucks. Alrighty, you guys remember, uh, I mentioned right before this all blew up, um, 
that I saw a heart over one of our colonists. Usually that means they're like trying to flirt with another colonist and um, Joker was trying to flirt with Pan and it says here, I attempted to create romance but I got the cold shoulder. Feels bad, man. And usually when they're not successful when it comes to courtship, they'll have uh, negative thoughts for a certain amount of days and you see here, three hours or uh, three days and 20 hours because um, he failed courtship with Pan. Damn, dude. You suck. Even after all that stuff you've done, brought power into the house, you build all this, and she's still not going for it. Man, you must have done something wrong. Um, one thing that I forgot to mention, Pen has been, like, having this thing against Triplet, where uh, she threw a party here. Eventually, when you get a little area where they can eat and there's, like, games, they'll throw a party there. But, uh, she hosted a party, and she ended up beating the shit out of Triplet. And she did that like three times to the point where I had to put him in the hospital three times. Three separate occasions. So she's not too fond of Triflet either. So I don't know what's wrong with her. She's going crazy. Alright, it looks like we got... Oh, for this uh, Let's Play is actually turning out to be a little bit more interesting than I expected. We have a psychic drone. I have no clue what this is. I've never gotten this before. Every fullness of the female gender winces in pain. Okay, uh, some distant engine of hatred is stirring. It is a project of a powerful psychic drone over these entire- over this entire region, on a frequency that only seems to affect the female gender. For a few days, for some people's mood will be quite a bit worse for a few days. Okay, got it. So, I actually have th had this before, but it only affected males the last time, and basically it just makes them a little bit more irritable. So on top of their PMS, they're gonna be- <laughs> they're gonna have this psychic drone effect. So, fantastic. Awesome. Fantastic. So I just noticed something. Completely forgetting that our freezer is hooked up to the main power line, duh. I didn't, uh, repair the line fast enough. And because of that, now we have food within the freezer that's completely rotted. Now we have to dispose of it, which sucks. RIP. Alrighty, so I managed to get triplet. I changed the... Uh, I have like these dumping stockpiles back here. Let's see if we can get to them. All the way back here, and I basically set triplet to um, to remove all that rotted food. Man, that really sucks. Hopefully she doesn't... She, I'm not sure... I've never really had food spoiled before, so I'm not sure if just because it's here she'll take it and cook with it. So, hopefully she doesn't. I just gotta make sure Triplet gets it out of there. ASAP. Alright, it looks like we got some visitors. A group from a district at the Mesa are visiting a colony. Are visiting the colony. They seem to have a few items to trade. Awesome. So, we do have money. Remember that silver is actually used as a currency in this game. So, when they get here, we will be able to trade and buy from them. Awesome. Fantastic. Too bad everybody's asleep now. Triplet, before you go to bed, you're throwing this away. We need that out. Thank you. Joker, I'm gonna wake you up again, and you're gonna finish building this wall. When I click you. Alrighty. So, we're gonna trade with them, and then after trading with- We'll see what they have, and then after trading with them, if we decide to do so, uh, we'll end the let's play there. Alrighty, so the traders are in. Now, usually when you go to uh, trade, you take your colonists with the highest um, character, with the highest social skill, which would be triplet. So I'm gonna wake him up again, and you go to the the colonist here that has the question mark because he's the one that's gonna be trading. You can also, if you decide so, you can actually uh, take your colonists and turn them against the traders and steal everything they have. Um, like, this right now, these guys right here, would actually be a good choice to do that to, because they have, they have, like, they're, they're not well protected, and they'd be easy to take out. So now we have triplet going in for the trade, and they have medicine, they have a crap ton of medics, med <laughs> medicine, so we, we are gonna take it, we will definitely take it. They have kibble, which I'm assuming to be, uh, yeah, animal feed, but we can make kibble here. We're good, or uh, this is ours, ours, uh, a fine meal, uh, we don't really need that. So, pretty much all we needed from them was the med kits. It's good to have a crap ton of med kits, so we're going to accept, 
And uh, they should drop the medkits right there on the floor. Uh, somewhere. Did I sell my? No, I didn't sell my medkits. Where? Where are they? Hmm. Alrighty, guys. So I believe I'm gonna end that let's play at that. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like. Also, if you are new to my channel and would like to see more of my content, go ahead and subscribe. That really helps me out, and um, it really means a lot to me. Uh, before I end this video, on Friday of this week, I'm going to be going on vacation with my family again, and um, so I won't be producing videos. Um, I will post that also on Twitter, so if you guys do follow my Twitter, I know I have a few of you on there, and on Facebook, um, I will post that there. So I'm going to end the video here. I'll see you guys later. My name is Oliver Cat, and I'm signing off. Goodbye.